Hi, my name is Siavash Irani. I'm a solutions architect with the AWS team. And in this video, I'll show you how to automatically fix EC2 Windows activation issues using AWS Systems Manager. With that, let's get started. We are going to cover how does Windows activation work in EC2, what are common issues which cause Windows activation to fail, and at the end, we will have a demo on how this is done. So how does Windows activation work in EC2? There are two ways to license Windows instances in EC2, either BYOL or license included. In this video, we are going to only focus on license included EC2 Windows instances. License included means EC2 Windows instances get activated against Amazon KMS servers. These KMS servers can be accessed on 169.254, 169.250, and 251 addresses from within EC2 Windows instances. Normally, when you launch an EC2 instance, EC2 config or EC2 launch configures Windows to point to these KMS servers, and also it adds proper routes for the KMS traffic. When Windows requires to renew its KMS activation, it sends the request to these endpoints and it gets activated. What are common issues which cause Windows activation to fail? One is wrong KMS server address, wrong KMS ports, wrong KMS server product keys, and also missing routes. All of these can be fixed by using AWS Systems Manager automation with AWS support activate Windows with Amazon license document. Let's see how this is done in the demo section. So I have created this EC2 Windows instance, and when I RDP to it, it shows that Windows is deactivated. And we're gonna see how we can fix this using AWS Systems Manager. So the first thing we need to do for System Manager, we need to configure IAM roles. So from Services, I look for IAM, and under IAM, I'm gonna click on Roles. Then I'm gonna click on Create a Role and choose EC2 Service here. Next permission. I'm gonna choose a role that's already defined called EC2 role for SSM. Basically, this policy allows SSM or AWS Systems Manager service to be able to control the instance. Then I click Next, Review. I give it a name, something like SSM Access and Create Role. Okay, now the role is created. I need to assign it to the instance. I go back to EC2 console. I click on instances. I right click on the instance and I, under instance settings, I click on attach or replace IEM role. And I look for the SSM access role that I created. I click apply and hit close. Now that the IAM role is attached to the instance, I'm going to open Systems Manager console again. And from here, I should be able to see my instance under Managed Instances. That means the instance can be managed using AWS Systems Manager. Then next thing, I'm going to go to Automation and click on Execute Automation. The document that I'm looking for is AWS Support EC2 Windows Activation, I'm just going to type in AWS Support, and this is the uh, document that it shows here. AWS Support Activate Windows Using Amazon License. Remember, this document only works with Amazon License Included Instances and not BYOL. Next thing I need to do, I need to put parameters. I'm going to choose Interactive Instance Picker, and I'm going to choose Demo uh, Server Activation, which is currently deactivated. This force activation is basically means uh, if the instance is already activated, still try to reactivate. And allow offline is really for cases where you cannot make a connection to the instance and you want uh, the automation to still try to activate uh, Windows in offline mode. And these uh, settings are, uh, the subnet ID is actually for that offline mode. Automation assume role. Now automation can work based on the IAM user that, that is logged in. 
And uh, because this process uh, usually is quick, I don't need to specify any automation service role here. I click on Execute Automation. And here you can see all the tasks that is going to uh, run in the backend. Uh, first, it's going to verify if the OS is Windows. Uh, it's verified. Uh, if it's managed instance, yes. And then uh, it's going to run a command, which basically this command uh, runs all those things that we uh, talked about in the presentation, which could uh, cause activation to fail. And we're going to give it a second. OK. Um, now, this uh, automation document just finished. You can see overall status as success. And if we go to this specific command that fixed the activation, you can see that, for example, it uh, changed the uh, KMS server to the right KMS server here. And uh, let's just verify to make sure that Windows is now activated. So I'm going to go back to the RDP session. All this page still needs to be refreshed. And you can see Windows is now activated. Great, so that was an overview of how to automatically fix EC2 Windows activation issues using AWS Systems Manager. I hope you found this video informative and thanks for watching.